Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And today I'm going to hit Siva Park. I'm going to pick up a friend of mine, Eric. And we're going to go over there and do a little wade fishing, targeting flounder. Now I'm going to throw the Get Her Done rig and gulp. Um, particularly I'm going to be throwing some swim mullet. Look for those flatties. You know, we're right on the cuff of flounder season. We've already seen a nice flounder run after we had a cold front moved through the area now we don't have a cold front we don't have a good water movement today but you know sometimes when the opportunity presents itself to go out you got to seize that moment so today's the day not really expecting a whole lot of activity but i'm going to wish for the best try my best but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share wish me luck hopefully catch me hook it up Got him? That's a good one? I'm not sure. Might be he's coming with me. He said Nick. Nah, I look simple. <laughs> On that bank though. Mm-hmm. There go his little ch first chips ahoy of the day. Ooh, that's a nice little pretty baby. Mm -hmm. Little cook cutter. I might have a fish on. <laughs> I know we're flirting with them now. There we go. Hell yeah. On the rocky stuff. Little guy. So he's a little guy, but he's, he's my guy. He's a little guy, but he's my guy. Get in here. Little guy, they get her done rig, little tandem. I mean not a tandem. White gope. Look at that little baby boy. Went on the bigger ones though. We need okay. a bigger one. Uh oh, here we go. There we go. There you go. Little guy, another little one. A little heavier, but he's still undersized. Yeah, Cast got, again. He got, got a little more junk in the trunk. <laughs> Hello, I got my waders on. So I don't have to get wet. There you go, get her done rig. Got a little, a little bigger, a little more curve to them. All right, so we're not seeing a whole lot of action being out here. You know, we're seeing, we've only caught like a couple small flounder. The dolphins are out here working, so it's very fishy out here. There's a lot of fish. And we're seeing mullets kind of blow up and roll through a little bit. Eric's gonna already put a spoon on because it's probably gonna be some nice big trout. Might even get lucky and be a red, but I'm kind of just hugging the bank a little bit and fishing. There's like a little gut over here right before you get to the shoreline. So I'm trying to fish this and or we both have kind of walked around. There was nothing pushed in on that side. And um, so we're going to keep fishing. Typically, I probably would have started out on the other side, uh, the ferry side, if you will. But the water level is just really high. So I wanted to come over here and, and try my luck over here first. But you can see right here, it is. there's a lot of fish out here. And I probably should put a top water or something else on. But Eric's going to change it up. And if Eric starts tearing them up, well, I'm going to have to dig around and see if I could find myself a spoon too. But I'm going to stay on bottom, keep fishing, keep hunting for flounder. And Eric's going to do what Eric does, yes, Mr. Spoon Man over here. And oh, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you hook up. Oh, somebody hit this right in front of me. Somebody's chomping on it. But we've got a lot of pinfish and small stuff chomping too. But literally right in front of me, like not even six feet in front of me. Let's see. Set my hook. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh. Frame up. 
Oh, he barely, he might be 16, but. Oh, no, nah, he's a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, he's a key. Yeah. Look like it. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Had to do a quick battery change. When you know that you finally get a fish on and he had to change out your battery. But yeah, here he is right here. It's nice. I think about 16 inches. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, about, about 16, 15 and a half. 16 incher. We're gonna we'll measure them before we take them out of the water, but we're gonna drop them in here. There we go. There you go. <laughs> that was a little guy. I was pulling him and working him. I was pulling him and working him the whole time. <laughs> and then I would stop. And then I feel like a little thump thump. So I'm like, all right, was something there? And then I'll pull it. I'm like, man, I keep rubbing all this thing. I'm in something like I thought I was just in like shells or something. Eric yeah. said he got a fish on. No, I didn't. Eric said he got a fish on. Let's see. <gasps> There's one. Yeah. That's one. Good one? Nah, baby. Another baby, huh? The babies are out tonight though. Yeah. Pull them up, pull his head up. Oh, look at that net man. There you go. Look at that net man. Ruben with the perfect net job. Shoot. Aquanet ain't got nothing on me, boy. I hold fast too. But we are I, me, well, I don't know about the, the uh fishing community, but I know you can net fish, you know. You just wait till they get to keeper side, that's when you get nervous. You hear that guy? Oh, and don't hook a person the best around him. You won't get him in. <laughs> Eric goes swimming today. I'm gonna do this as Sparta. <laughs> Eric taking a dip. Damn. You broke off? Yep. All right, Mr. Eric said that feels like a fish. Let's see if he's accurate with his assessment. He's assessing. Yeah, he's assessing it. Pull a little bit. Oh, it gave way, yeah, it and it was just a rock. It wasn't a fish. Another false alarm brought to you by Eric. Mr. Enrique. And this whole time, I miss with him, I got a fish on right in front of me. What it was just sitting on the bottom. Oh my god! Did you see that? See you, Dude, he came all the way out. Man, that was like a that was like a that was like a 35 inch halibut. I don't know, let's see. I'm gonna try it out, see if one. You got one? Nope, it got off. He <laughs> dropped it. Oh, 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 do we have one? Do we have one? Hook sets are free. There you go. You got nothing? Nothing. You got nothing? He's shaking his little head. Well, get in the head in so you can get in the head in. That don't look like no little head. He pulled a little bit of drag. He's small. He's got so much action. Uh. You ready? You got one too, Eric? Yep. Hold on. Eric's turn. Yeah. Oh, Eric. Hey, Eric got nothing. He got a nothing and I got another one. <laughs> I got an other one. Uh -uh. I got a nothing and he got the udden. The udden and nothing. <laughs> yeah. Get out of there. There you go. Dang, you just caught that one. It <laughs> looked like it, huh? All right, everybody so that's gonna do it today you know we came out to see wolf park and unfortunately we have some weather moving in on us and we're getting ready to get out of here but had one one slot flounder today caught a few other small ones air caught a few small ones too and the best time to come and when you're looking to really hook up is right after a cold front Eric's still missing with this crab over here 
But the best time to come is like right after cold front. We're not right after cold front. We just came out just to come out, just check it out. The water temp, probably somewhere about 75, 76 degrees. Uh, the water clarity is pretty good. It's not too bad. Uh, maybe how many foot of visibility do you think? Uh, maybe two. Yeah, maybe about two, maybe two and a quarter. But yeah, about two foot visibility. It seemed like they're liking white. As soon as Eric put on white, he started having more success, more luck too. But hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget to push that bell notification let you know the next time I upload a video. And so next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Tight line. Tight them.